on my previous video of the Redmi Note 3, lot of you guys have been asking me that what's the best ROM for Redmi Note 5 Pro. Well, this is not a review, but as of now, in my frank opinion, the best ROM is pretty much the official Pixel experience based on Android Pie. Because of course, it does check pretty much all the boxes I need. Performance is great. Even gaming performance is good enough. You can watch the full review if you want to from the cards or from the descriptions. In terms of camera, it has Mi A2 stock camera app which supports AI portrait mode on both front and back cameras. And here are some samples. And this ROM will definitely give you a complete Google Pixel like experience as it running latest and greatest pure stock Android which is Android Pi 9.0. If you want customizations on top of stock Android, you would be better off with ROMs like Bootleggers or Resurrection Remix but those are audio. So as of now, if you want to use the latest version of Android and if you want to get the Pixel experience literally, you should definitely go with this ROM. Yes, it's official, it's stable enough for daily driving and the full review again is in the cards or the description. The fingerprint scanner is blazing fast as it is on me. Why? or it might be even faster over here. Wi-Fi, 4G, vault -E, everything works super fine whatsoever and even hotspots in 5GHz works fine too. And we just crossed 7000 subscribers mark, so huge thanks to all of you and keep supporting like this guys and if you have not subscribed yet go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now app open up speeds are fast enough and ram management is really really good all the apps stays in memory even if you open them from memory in the end of the day and the battery life of this rom is just amazing i was getting around or more than 8 hours of screen on time with each full charge which is just amazing the ROM does deliver a super smooth Google Pixel like experience. I'm saying this again and again because I just love it. I just love the taste of stock Android. Here is the lit quick toggles of Android Pie looks awesome in pure white and blue color combination and has rounded shapes on the toggles. Torch works super fine here and here is the new volume panel of Android Pie. You can just change the modes to like you can enable the vibration option or you can just put the phone in totally silent. And the settings panel does look colorful in this newest version of Android. Not like Oreo where everything was a little bit dull. And for the people who were asking about face unlock, well after setting it up it does work but there is no quick face unlock option by default so you have to swipe up the lock screen manually to get to the home screen. So that's a disappointment. And we have these home gestures for the recent panel and it is working super smooth as you can see. And in about section, as you can see, I'm using this 22nd August build of 2018 and this is the latest one as of now. It did receive quite a few OTA updates, so yeah, it does support OTA updates and I have been using this ROM as my daily driver on the Redmi Note 5 Pro for more than a week maybe and I am just liking it. Everything is super smooth and awesome. I did not face any kind of four stops or random reboots or anything like that. Everything is super fine. You can switch between recent apps like this quick. Just look at this. Banking apps like Taze does work super fine even without flashing magisk and I am talking everything about this ROM on stock. I didn't flash magisk or any modules. The ROM is running super smooth as straight butter on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. And in my opinion this is the best one as I am just surprised with the whole thing honestly. If you are still on MIUI and if you are not happy with how heavy it is, 
or if you are using an audio based custom ROM, you should definitely go with this one and you can just try it. You can just try the newest version of Android on the Redmi Note 5 Pro right now. Well, how to flash this ROM? Check the description box below. That's it. That's been it for today. Thanks so much for watching guys. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and we'll catch you guys in the next one.